What's going on, everybody? Free one up, man. War one more again. Uh, just want to talk about that Charlie trailer right quick, man. Street Fighter Five. I know y'all have seen it by now. Everybody has seen it by now. And they mama. Anyway, uh, first thing I want to talk about is how Street Fighter Five looks now. That I mean, that thing was going at what 1080p, 60 frames per second. Street Fighter Five looks a lot better than the last time they showed it. Even though the last time they showed it was like a uh, what a demo. What, what was it, Daigo versus Gamer B or something like that? It was just like a gameplay demo, but you know. This direct feed footage right here was like straight up freaking gorgeous. I mean, it looks a lot better. So it's like, everybody that was saying, man, it just looked like an upgraded Street Fighter 4. Not no more. Nah, you can forget that. It's looking like Street Fighter 5. Nah, it like something different, you know. Same characters, but st you know, still. Another thing I want to talk about, uh, the music, man, whoever made this music is, they doing a good job so far. Every every piece of music I heard for Street Fighter V so far has been good. And this is what Charlie's theme is like, the best I've heard so far. It's not a remix of his old theme, you know. They don't gotta, like, keep rehashing, oh, we gonna make the, you know, how the old theme just sounds sweet by itself. Even back in the day, it just sounded sweet. So anybody can, you can't mess that up. No, he makes something new and make it sound sweet, like they're doing with Street Fighter Five, you know. So that is one of the big things I'm looking out for in this game, like the sound. I'm a soundtrack junkie. You already know that. So uh, that's looking sweet. Charlie his, himself is looking all cold, man. I mean, he's he's basically Agent Shadow, you know. He uh, even his outfit, dude. He got the he he got he's wearing an outfit that I would pick when I you know if I'm playing with him, like you know with the black. With a black and yellow vest, man. Just looking at that vest, dude. That's that job. That's nostalgia right there. It's taking me back right there. The vest. He got the hair hanging down. And, um, you know, he got the black pants. You know, I think that's his main outfit. If that's his main outfit, that's sweet. You know, it's fitting for how, you know, how evil he didn't got. Now he's taken over by what? Bipson. Oh man! Another thing about his appearance, what is that? What's up with his arms and his face? Like he got stitches on his face, man. It's like I'm not complaining, but it looks it looks sweet. It looks sweet. I like how it look. It's like, but his arm. It's like, what did they do surgery on him or something like that? It's like it's like he got a new arm. Like I saw, I did his arm and put Liquid Snake's arm on his um on his self, you know, on Metal Gear Solid Two. But it was like that's that. I immediately thought about that when I saw that, and it's like he got. I think. The arm, that arm that he grabbed, you know, with the uh, stitches, and it's like darker color, darker skin tone. That's the arm he grabbed Chun Li's face with and smashed it on the ground and did that little, you know, flame move or whatever. It'd be sweet if the moves came out of the power arm, you know, the sword on arm, you know. But it, it, it look, I'm liking it. So you know, enough about his appearance. You know what they should do? He got his glasses. They should make it into a scouter. But that's neither here nor there. Anyway, uh, his moves are looking real sweet. I'm talking about he did, they didn't turn him in the Wesker slash Virgil, you know, slash Seth with the mix-ups. Like, come on, man. He got that, uh, he got the little teleport. He got the one that goes above his head. He got the one that goes behind him. I'm pretty sure he got one that goes straight, go short, and he go, you know, you can, you can, you know, space it so he can go straight in front of him. I'm pretty. He might have one that go backwards too, like Wesker do. That's kind of. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not complaining about that at all. It's like, well, as soon as I seen him through the sonic boom from full screen, I knew what he was gonna do though. I'm like, come on, man, it's that Seth John. They need to get rid of all traces of Seth from Street Fighter. Period. Cause I don't care. I don't care about Seth. But that's Charlie's now. He he's, he's like he got that overhead. Uh, you know the move he, you know he jumped over Chun Li and he did the little downward flash kick. That's not a new move. That move was in uh, Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Charlie had that jump. It was so slow, nobody really used it though. But that move is not new, so I'm glad they brought it back though. It's like he one of them characters that you know alter his jump. He don't gotta land. You know I, I don't be liking fighting against that jump, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be playing with him for sure. You know for sure. This is like this is me talking like the game. Ain't even out yet. I'm telling you who I'm gonna play with. Just like I did with Street Fighter 4. I told you I was gonna play with Bison. You know, um, I'm not saying I'm gonna main Charlie, but I'm definitely gonna play with him because I always liked him above Guile anyway. You know, 
and they ain't the same character. You know, they they not alike. Dude got some sweet moves. He got that uh he had um what's that move he got? He got that little two hit punch to backhand, but he kept doing it real close. I'm not I don't think it's like a uh I don't think that was a up close EX Sonic Boom or whatever. I think that was like a legit punch move, like one of his little blitz, mini blitz moves, you know. And he kept comboing into it. He did it on Chun Li and on Ryu. So it's like I'm liking that one right there. And he got that little probably a that little kick that he kept knocking people. It, the kick knocks down. It's just like a spin kick. Knock Chun Li down, the one that knocked Ryu inside the train at the end, or whatever that was. You know. So that was sweet, you know. A lot of people gonna be a lot of people gonna be combo finishing combos with that, you know. You got the flash kick. The original flash kick, but it doesn't look like it used to look. It doesn't like his little somersault, you know, how he used to do the uh you know how it used to look. It don't look like that no more. It look like uh something Rugal does. It look like Rugal's flash kick. His little just like the first kick though. As soon as I saw him do it, he's like he did he did it twice on Chun Li. And then juggled him, again, juggled her again, and hit her again with it. So it was like uh, he did it with one leg, and I was waiting. I'm like, man, that's that's like Rugal's kick. I was waiting for him to bring the other leg up to do it. I'm like, oh, if he do that junk, man, that's a straight rip off from Rugal. I'm glad he didn't do it. But it would have been sweet if he did it. But I'm glad he didn't do it. You know what I'm saying? So you gotta be original. But it'll be sweet if he actually had, you know, the super version of his flash kick if he either even got it which most likely he does. The super version of the flash kick, or at least the last hit, should be his original backflip flash kick, you know? Because that boy still looks sweet. It still is different from Giles, you know? It's still two hits either way it go. So I'm liking that. What else did he do? I mean, he got them teleports, man, with the uh, ambiguous cross-up garbage to go over your head. That, ooh. I gotta learn how to use that junk, man. So I'm liking Seth. I'm trying to think of some others. Yeah, I mean the move that he uh when he took Chelly down with his little form and just smashed her and did that flame thing on her head. That's an upgrade. That's psycho power, man. This is Agent Shadow Tactics right here. He's doing it, boy. You know. So uh yeah. What else am I forgetting? Uh just looking at Charlie's jump kick, his his roundhouse jump, his jumping roundhouse. It looks as sweet as it always looked, man. It just that just screams Charlie, man. Like, hmm, that boy got his, his hitbox just his 3D model just stretches so far when he do that that you know that hard jump kick. So it's like keep that, Chuck. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else, man? Yeah, that's about it. They didn't show a lot. They just showed his basic stuff. You know, he got a few combo. You know, that's what I like to see. Comboing it up with Charlie. Charlie is everywhere. Um. So, yeah, what do you guys think about Charlie uh, so far? Seeing that you all have seen the trailer. Nah, the end of the trailer is what I wanted to see. So, you know, it just confirmed what I've been thinking all along. Since Shadow's in it, you know, Agent Shadow, Charlie's in it, and he's evil, then Bison has to be in it, you know? Because he the one that made him like he was. How are you going to be dead? And people say, hey, he died from, to Akuma. How are you going to be in the game? Nah, bruh. Why is he gonna die all he want? You know, he can change bodies. He got all kinds. He got, he got bodies. He got so many bodies like Batman got suits in his uh Bat Cave, dude. Bison got bodies stored up. You know what I'm saying? That was Bipson confirmed. You can you can believe that. That was confirmed. And it's like he had the cape on. That should be his normal outfit with the cape. You know, don't don't don't. You ain't gotta take it off. You know, it just. If you do it, just whew, throw that boy off and jump into his uh, stance like he did on Street Fighter 2. Then you can throw it off, but don't be just starting around like your regular stance. You throw that boy off like that, you know, or you keep it on. But yeah, it's unmistakable. It's Bison. He was, he was in the psycho power. You folding his arm. That's his stance, you know. <sighs> you know, all that junk. That's that psycho power. It's purple. He had the hat and everything. There's no speculation to be done here. It was Bison all day long. It was Lord Bison. So, man, I, I, I'm guessing I'm probably gonna end up maining Bison anyway, dude. <laughs> it's like I said, I was gonna main Bison in Street Fighter Four before it even came out. Now I have no choice. It's just like he's in it. 
shoot, I, I don't like him in Street Fighter 4. He ain't all that good. But I got him stuck with him, you know. I'm definitely, it's, I'm safe, it's safe to say I'm pretty much going to main him. And the other, him, Charlie's going to be my other secondary. Ken is definitely going to be on. You know Ken going to be in it, you know. They're going to make an evil Ken. They, they, you know, that, that remains to be seen. They need to do that, you know. Ken, I mean, right, you getting all this evil treatment. Give Ken some evil action, you know. Or you just, you know, just give him the crazy kicks. Make him Omega Ken. And then some, you know. Well, I can't wait to see what he look like. I can't wait to see Bison's trailer. He tried to, uh, they biting off of the K.I. trailer, you know, tease him at the end. So, but you know Bison's trailer going to be next, you know. After they show off a little bit more Charlie gameplay, you know. Uh, which I'm waiting on. I want to see that too. So, what do you guys think about Charlie? Um, let me know down in the comments, uh. Yeah, what do you think about Bison being it? You know, I, I see some people talking about, man, Bison needs to, to go screw himself, and he don't want him in the game. Well, I don't want no Seth in there. I sure don't want Seth in the game no more. For real, you can forget it. I mean, I don't like him at all. It's like, he doesn't deserve to be the boss. Bison deserves to be the boss. You know, he come back. He come back with a new body. He runs the show. He runs this whole game. He running Sony. He, he like, no, y'all make this game. No, I'm just kidding. Anyway, yeah. That's about the end of this video. Um, uh, I think I'm going to end up streaming tonight, most likely, a little bit later. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm streaming. I'm streaming. For sure. So, uh, I'm going to leave my little link in the description as usual for, you know, it's twitch.tv slash free one up. For the link? No. Twitch dot, you know, dot TV slash free one up. So, just go on there and hit the follow button. <laughs> And I'm going to catch you guys later. Peace out. Energize.